Well, how do chums? I doff my cap and welcome back. This is another episode of Shadow of the Colossus. Now, at the end of the last episode of Shadow of the Colossus, it stated that this Colossus would keep the flames alive. Um, the only one I can think of that had flames in from memory, apart from the ones that spit fire from their mouths, was one where it's another small one, another small Colossus, and you sort of scare it with like a torch. You hold up like a flaming torch. Unless I'm imagining things. I mean, it was freaking eons ago that I played this on PlayStation 2. So, yeah. Um, I think it's a dog-type one. I think there's two dog-type ones. And there's, there's, there's one that sort of headbutts posts. I can't remember if this is one and the same creature. Yeah, so let's, let's just head on over and um, we, we, we'll find out when we get there. It's like a faux dog. No, I think there's two. I think there's two faux dogs. I'm not too sure. So, so far, chums, we've used the bridge where the Colossus number two was a couple of times, but we haven't been across this bridge, I don't think, have we, or have we? I'm not too sure. But as we go across this little bridge in a second, chums, I say bridge, it's like a, a snaky sort of path that looks really unstable. If you look over to the right, there's like this waterfall. It's just freaking beautiful. It's breathtaking, in fact, chums. So here we go. Let's just head on over this way. And you'll see what I mean. I usually go across, across this quite slow on purpose because the view is just phenomenal. Look at that. Isn't that something? I'm going to shut up so you can hear the falls. Now, as I went through those two pillars, you can still see the shadows on the floor. Do you remember in, like, um, Never Ending Story, and there's the two oracles, and they fire lasers down and stuff? This, the character in this reminds me so much of Atreyu, and the actual vibes of this have the same sort of nostalgia pull as Never Ending Story. I'm fairly sure if they added in Falcor and some of the characters from Never Ending Story into Shadow of the Colossus universe, it wouldn't go amiss. You know, they, they could make a Never Ending Story freaking game couldn't they really and it could look like this and, and you wouldn't even bat an eyelid okay well i've killed that freaking lizard and it's dead and it's on top of the freaking shelf you know what i'm gonna pray here anyway i'm gonna try and find a way up to get that lizard's tail i'll be i'll be grudged if i'm leaving that freaking dead lizard there after shooting it with that freaking awesome arrow kill right so i can't move this block and at the moment you can see here jumping around on it is doing me no favors <laughs> For fuck's sake, I can climb up massive colossuses and things like that because there's no ivy on this or, or whatever. I can't just get my fingers in the brickwork. Yeah, bit odd. I'm not quite Spider-Man. I have to actually go by the laws of brickwork. Okay, so here we go. We're going to go up here. Brilliant. And this, this could work. Yes, awesome. Okay, now I just need to jump across there and the lizard should be on my left and just past its foliage. Oh, I nearly fell off. There we go. There's the lizard. Got him. Chicka boom. Lizard tail in my pocket. I have no idea what the lizard tails do, but I've got a, I've got a quite a gathering of lizard tails now, chums. Right, okay. So where is this bloody thing? I've, I've got turned around now. Master about face, aren't I? Is that? The, yeah. I need to carry on going that way. So I'm just gonna. There's the temple. That's where the princess is. So I've got to go the opposite way. With the arches going that way, it kind of makes you feel that the bridge is going backwards if that makes sense i don't know whether it does anyway we're heading over there we've got that other nice little bridge to go across there and then there's that quaint little sort of um what is it cavey type bit isn't there over there hmm okay i can't think of where i've got to go once i get across this little bridge you know what i don't think i have got to go across that little bridge i think i've got to go over there in the desert bit and round i think okay let's let's have a look where we're going Ah, I think I'm the wrong freaking side of the chasm, aren't I? Shite. Yeah, I don't think I need to go across there. I need to be on the opposite side. Damn it! Okay, it looks like I've I've gone slightly astray, chums. Oopsie. Okay, um, is there a quick way? Yes, I think I can just go up and... Phew, I thought I was going to have to go all the way back to the bloody temple then for a, a moment there, chums. No, I just need to go around here. And um, I think this one, if I'm right in thinking, there's a hole in the middle of the desert that's quite easy to miss. And you have to sort of go down there. If I'm remembering rightly from PlayStation 2 days. God, it's such a long time ago, isn't it? Well, 
yeah, 2005, I believe. So let's head on over this way and let's see what we get. You know what? I think I can see another. Is that a, tr a temple over there? I'm not 100% sure. Okay, well, we carry on going this way. I think that is a temple over there, actually, chums. But yeah, I think that is. We'd head on over to the temple, I think. Might make a little detour over there. Pray, get some more sort of health, perhaps. But then, uh, yeah, hopefully it's going to be nearby to that temple. So let's just go this way and let's see if I'm right. Is that a temple or is it just a structure of rocks? No, it's definitely a temple. Brilliant. Yep, it's just hiding behind this post. You should see it now. There you go. See, I can see that a little while ago. I've got a big freaking 4K TV. You're probably watching this on a mobile phone thinking, what temple? What are you freaking on about? There it is. Right, okay. So let's head on over here. Can I see any lizards? Oh, I can't see a lizard on this one. Right, well, let's play here. I think I've been to this temple before, and I may have already killed the lizard on this temple. Let's have a little butchers around, see if there is anything. But I, I think I've already had that one. I have already had that one. Okay, and it's over there. So just past the, uh, Look, it's down. I think this is the one with the hole in the ground. Yeah, I've got to go into Sarlacc Pit. I know. This desert is quite nice. I like the palm fronds and things. I mean, there's there's quite a few different biomes inside of um, this game, to be fair. And there, there isn't an icy sort of biome or a snow biome, which I kind of like. I like the fact this is just deserts and sort of sandy areas and a few pockets of trees and green spaces and a few lakes and things. It's quite a believable space. It's quite cool. I actually really like it. Ah, there's a fruit tree over there as well. I could be have some fruits. Let's go and get some forbidden fruits from the fruit tree. Heck yes. So there's one temple here and a fruit tree. Lovely jubbly. Let's go and shoot down some fruits. Coolio. And look at these. They're bunched in twos. Awesome. So if I can get my arrow placed in the centre of the two, hopefully they're both going to fall down at the same time. Boom. Like so. There's another little gathering of fruits there. I'll have them too. Thank you very much. And I think I spy. There's two more loads. Nice. So there we go. We're going to grab you guys. Pow! And you guys. Lovely. Pow! Done. Sweet. Let's go and eat those fruits. And let's uh, hear the noise of the fruit. Sounds like I've just run on the fruit machines. It doesn't. It's not a fruit eating sound, is it? You know, all these mukbangs. And you know, they're eating fruit. No. It's a strange sound effect, isn't it? All the other sound effects sound rather in keeping, but that one is just completely off, isn't it? It's, it feels like it's just been pulled straight from another sort of game. It's weird. But I like it, yeah. And those fruits are bigger than my head. God knows where they go when I eat them. Right, let's, let's head on over this way. I don't think it's far to go, because when I'm holding my sword up, it, it's virtually... I'm, it looks like I'm virtually on it. I could ride my horse, I suppose. I could be lazy, couldn't I? I'll call him anyway. If he comes, he comes. If he doesn't, I think it's just over this ridge. I think it's just the opposite side of this pillar. All right, here comes my horse. Hello there, horsey on horse horse. Yeah, away with you, like the wind. Here we go. Uh, yeah, that was a short-lived ride, to be fair, because I think I'm there. I think this is the pit in the ground that I was on about, and I'm fairly sure I couldn't have got to it the other way. No, I couldn't. I had to come this way. And this is it, here. Look, if I look down off the side there, there's like a little water oasis. I have to go around the opposite side. I cut that, um, mainly because I slipped and I died. <laughs> yeah, I died. I died. I fell in that big freaking hole. So, yeah, there we go. Oh, that's two deaths now. One on the um, sand creature and one for falling in this freaking hole. So that's not good, is it? No. Okay, well, anyway, I, I, I sort of cut that out because the game over screen, it, yeah, not good. There you go, let's run down here. I like how all the sound sort of just drizzles down there and stuff. So at the moment, I, actually, the sand creature did kill me, fair enough. Yeah, so I have died once by Colossus and once by Misadventure, which is a bit of a shame. I was hoping to do this playthrough on easy mode without dying, you know? Didn't happen. All right, so I'm in a load of sludge. I don't know whether you get a trophy for doing easy mode without dying. It's a bit embarrassing that I died on easy mode, to be fair. Okay, so let's just get out of this puddle. Let's go head on over this way. Awesome. And I've just got to go up and round and over there. Cool. Yeah, over that way. Hmm. Fair enough. Right, so... Uh, hold on, what was that sound? I just heard, you know the sound that you get with the golden coins? I've just heard, a, I've just heard a little, and I've got a vibration, it just came from my joypad. When I mean, ding Yeah, I don't know whether the mic would have picked that up, but that's pretty damn freaking special. Okay, so there's a, it must be on the ridge above me. It must be up there, chums, and I can't just jump there. 
Okay, and this could be one that maybe you got to parachute down. You know I fell from the other side and died. Maybe you need to fall from above that ledge and parachute down. But we'll go around and we'll see... Ah, look, I think I might be able to walk all the way around on that ledge and just get these coins. Lovely. Not that you do much with the coins, but apparently if you get all 79, it unlocks a sword of Domin, the actual demon sword or something. So I think that's a relatively new discovery. Um, but yeah, we're going to head around here. And we'll see if we can get the the coins from just walking which would be nice i haven't found many coins i think this is my third set of coins so and there's 79 to find and there is a map online to show you where all the coins are but you have to sort of new game plus and new game plus again to have the stamina to get half of these coins and also you need to do time attack modes and get the parachute because there's something you've got to parachute down to so it's not an easy task by any stretch of the imagination. There is a channel out there that, that specialises in unlocking all trophies for games. And they've done one on Shadow of the Colossus. And he shows you how to get the vast majority of the hardest coins. So yeah, I don't think I'm going to be doing that anytime soon. Right, so we're going to go into that red glowy area. There seems to be a door over there as well. Well, before I try and sort of get myself through that door area over there, I'm just going to head around the back here, because this looks like it might take me somewhere. This might take me in. I mean, it did look like that other doorway is blocked off by something. It looked like there was some wood or something falling down in front of it. Awesome. I had to clip it a second ago because I sneezed, and now my nose is itching like heck. There you go. Nose Olympics. There we go. Awesome. Let's head on in, and let's uh, go over. Ah, here we go. I think we might be encountering a cutscene for a boss. <gasps> Oh, that was lucky. I just jumped by chance there. Okay, cutscene. Right, okay, this is one of the faux dogs. I can't remember if there's one faux dog or two. If when I knock him down there, he falls into a labyrinth and you've got to climb up all these pillars and things, then there's only one. If I fall down there and there's no labyrinth with pillars, then I think there might be two. <laughs> okay, because uh, I think there's another one with the labyrinth and pillars that likes headbutting. Oh, he just headbutted this. Maybe this is one with pillars. Okay, well look, I, uh, he's just knocked the torch down. Now, if I remember rightly, I go pick that torch up and it's going to go out. Yeah, there you go, it's gone out. And I get knocked to the shite. Yeah, he's going to headbutt me. Right, I'm going to try and get behind the pillar that's nearest to that ledge over there. Because that little gap where the pillars are... If you can push him back using your flaming torch, he falls down there, if I remember rightly. So here we go. Let's, um, let's do this. Now, the timing of me getting up and him getting ready to charge again is pretty much the same time. So as soon as you do get up, roll in the direction you need to go in to get out of the way of this freaking git. Because he's a git. He really is a freaking git. Right, there you go. And all you do is you raise this torch just like you do the sword. There you go. And I'm going to make him reverse up and out and over there. Now you've got to do this fairly quick because your torch goes out. Yeah, that flame will go out after a little while. So yeah, here we go. We're just going to keep pushing him back and raising it. If you get too close to him, he hits you with your claw. With his claw. So don't get in striking distance. There he goes. And there we are. We've smashed off his armour. Now if I swap to my sword, I might be able to do a leap of faith and land right on his back. Grab him and stab him in cinematic style. So here we go. Let's try that. Awesome. I freaking missed. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Okay, shite. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can get on him. Yeah, you can do that, and then, yeah, you can pretty much get a stab in before he goes mental and starts running off all over the place because he's still freaking dazed. Me, I'm going to now struggle to get the first stab in. Um, but, you know, all the stabs on this one is a pain in the neck. It's like freaking rodeo or something. Because look at him, it's freaking like a crazy bull or whatever. And, yeah, and that's pretty much it. You have to time your strike just right, and my timing for striking him isn't the best. There we go. We've got one. We've got one hit in. But this is going to take me a little while, and it's just me fumbling around like this for a little while. So you know what? I might speed this up, and I'll reconvene with you in the Tunnel of Light. Oh. 
Okay, so there was no labyrinth on that one, so there must be a second faux dog that you do run round in a labyrinth and have to climb up pillars. I remember that one quite distinctly because it was a pain in the backside. So hopefully that's not the next one. Hopefully we've got a bigger colossi next time. Yeah, let's have a look at the hints and tips and I'll see if I can remember what one it is. Oh, chums, I remember this next one. Yeah, he's in a lake and he rises up and you have to hit these things on his head to turn him around and move him and manoeuvre him. It's a bit of a weird one. I'll see you next time. Goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye again. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe. And I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thanking you, backers. And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.